Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender of negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen, stolen from you is being returned. And all negative and, and all negative and dark plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay, so someone may be realizing that they partner up with the wrong group, wrong person, wrong couple, something of that nature. There's some type of confusion going on amongst a group of people. It could be a couple actually, or just a group of friends. They are celebrating, or we're celebrating the downfall of someone or something they did, right? To cause some type of hindrance to someone else. Um, these people are trying to complicate life, yeah. <laughs> They're trying to complicate life for either two people. Is that they don't want two people coming together or something of that nature. They don't want you moving towards your finish line. So if you're working on something, they're working really hard to prevent you from arriving at your finish line. But you're being advised to move forward. Okay. Someone is causing a lot of mental conflict is what I'm seeing. Or it could be a group of people that are causing a lot of mental conflict here. You're supposed to be prosperous, prosperous abundant, uh, things of that nature. But people have made it their mission. They've, they've made it their obligations to cause some type of stagnation. Like they want you just like block this and not. You can't move any farther. We'll take it from here. So if you have any type of abundance that's supposed to come towards you, they are working on blocking you from receiving that. Absolutely horrendous. Um, this could be a group of friends, this could be family, this could be uh, just maybe a, a married couple or a couple that has been together for a long time. But you are supposed to be having some type of new beginning. Walk, people are walking away from this. Yeah, people are walking away from this. I just noticed this at the bottom. You're supposed to be having some type of new beginning. Like you're supposed to be receiving something. And people have made it their mission to make it difficult. They don't want people to see the truth. If you're someone that's hardworking, they're possibly telling people that you're lazy as heck. You don't care about what you're doing. That you're not worthy of the offer that you're supposed to be receiving. Regardless, you are going to be celebrating uh, you know, joining your soul tribe, making new friends. You may end up in a relationship with your soul twin. Uh, your soul twin could be going through some type of healing journey or whoever you're meant to work with could be going through some type of healing journey. Um, and you two will make it on the other side. There is some type of confusion going on here. There's some type of middle man, middle woman that's going back and forth between two people or a group of people, right? Like two parties. He or she is going back and like, re uh, translating messages but you're adding their own sauce in there and complicating things things for everybody but the truth will be fine out so it's just advising you that regardless of what's going on you need to absolutely keep pushing forward focus on your goal focus on your dreams you will have victory there's some type of rude awakening going on um in this situation, a lot of people behind the scenes are going through some type of ending. You may not be aware of it. Yeah, because you are focused on your dreams, your aspiration, kind of moving forward, trying to figure out how to move forward in life. Someone could be going through some type of ending as far as passing away or this situation is just dead and done with. Right? It's been dropped out too long. Yeah, it's done. It's been dragged out too long. There's some type of conflict going on, right? Uh, someone is either being asked a lot of questions and they are extremely on the defensive side. They don't have the right explanation. Something could have been revealed about this person or something this person has been doing, something they've been indulging in. And they're being asked a lot of questions, but they don't have the right answer. So they are throwing fits and things of that nature, right? They're trying to cause stagnation. Like if someone wants to work with you or a community wants to give you an opportunity, someone is there trying to cause, you know, the blockages, 
causing problems, picking fights with people. If people are like, no, we don't believe you anymore. You're a liar. You're this. They are literally picking fights with people because they don't want things to be corrected. Something, someone does not want something to be revealed. But it'll be revealed. It'll be revealed in, in a matter of time. All of this fighting is coming to an end. They can no longer pay people if this is what they were doing behind the scenes. They can't pay people anymore to work with them. No one wants to work with this person. People are walking away from this person because they know all this person does is come with chaos, right? Drama. And people are done with the drama. Like, they want to put an end to this, whatever this is. Some of these people don't even know why they have a problem with some of you. It's because there's some corporate behind the scene of, of, of in, a energy, either a feminine energy or masculine energy behind the scenes picking fights with you. And they're making it seem like you're picking a fight with them. They're causing blockages and making it seem like you're the one causing blockages. That like someone is doing something, but they're projecting onto you and saying that you're the one doing it. All right? They, they're, they and their friends may have tried to manifest something for you, some type of injustice for you. But it looks like things are going in your favor. Uh, you and the person you're meant to be with, work with, something like that, you and your family, you'll be receiving justice. Things are going in your favor, right? You may have manifested something in the past and these people have been working to block you from receiving it, but it looks like things are being balanced out. There could be some type of court case going on. For some of you, someone who have been trying to pay a judge, pay a lawyer to take some type of bribery and the judge refused it. This could have been like a queen of wands or just someone behind the scenes trying to bribe a lawyer or a judge that, hey, I'll give you this if you make sure this goes in my favor or if you won't defend this person, uh, make sure that they lose their case or something like that. And this person is saying no. They're like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to work with you. I'm not accepting a bribery. Is that one of the situations someone comes to you to give you a bribery and you're like, oh, are you bribing a, D, a, D, a DEA? Are you bribing an FBI agent? Are you bribing a lawyer? My goodness. Okay, exposed, exposed. Yeah, someone has definitely been trying to pay for something to go in their favor, right? Someone is reckless out here. Like they're desperate to block someone else, else, someone else's forward movement. Excuse me, I speak really fast, so sometimes things just blur it out. <laughs> someone is desperate to block someone else's forward movement and they're shocked that someone is in the upright. Like they're, they're shocked that they can't bribe people anymore. People are walking away from them. They're also shocked that people are seeing the truth about you, that you are in the upright where as they're in the reverse. This is someone that's a wild character. Someone could be with someone that's a cheat. If there's a divorce going on in court, something is being revealed about this feminine energy that she does cheat. She just lays around with anyone. Uh, she's never been faithful in the relationship. Uh, she fights a lot. She tries to interfere with other people's lives and things of that nature. This is a crazy woman, but she pretends to be in the upright, except she's not. This is a crazy woman, unhinged, okay? And someone's trying to get away from her, I think. I think someone's trying to get away from this woman. Um, I don't know if it's a marriage, but there could some, be some type of legal issues going on. There's a queen of uh, a wands in a reverse that has legal issues coming up. And she won't be able to buy her way out of it this time. I think she's been able to buy her way out of something. She may have stolen something, uh, compromised someone, they play with someone's character, defame someone's character. It could be you, collective. You're in the upright and your privileged energy, high vibrational and things like that. And this woman is in the reverse. So she could have legal issues issues coming in for either trying to bribe someone or stealing something from you taking something from you because this is someone that is extremely superficial money focused uh just immature in so many ways it's really disheartening to see people in this kind of energy um but we'll, i guess we'll see how this turns out this is going to be a quick read because i have to get ready for work yeah someone has to sit down yeah this woman is throwing a fit behind the scenes. She's absolutely not happy with the results that she's receiving. She was expecting to get something else. They said, hey, I've pretended to be this this whole time. I've put in all this work to cause someone an ending. Why can't I get the outcome that I want? And people are seeing this person for exactly who they are. They're like, hey, you didn't put in the work for nothing. You've been stealing from people. You've been stealing from this person and then telling us that they're stealing from you. You try to steal someone's abundance. You're not receiving it. Someone's opportunity, you're not receiving it, right? And this is what this is. And this woman is upset, very much upset. 
people are keeping their distance from her. But like you, you are crazy and you need help. No one wants to have anything to do with this woman. Some of me has celebrated a little too early. It's a yes. We've caused stagnation for her, for him. We get to have what's theirs and the universe is saying, nah, no, you're not getting what belongs to this person, okay? You are absolutely not getting what's theirs, right? This person is gonna get what belongs to them. There was some type of offer you were supposed to receive and she thought she was gonna do something or they thought they were gonna do something where they would receive the offer. They're not receiving it and they're going through some type of shock. They said, what? We're not getting this. Yeah, whoever is supposed to give you this offer is moving on. They may be coming towards you. Balance is being brought into the situation. Justice is taking place. You're going to be able to move on with your life collective, whereas these people are going through an ending, right? They don't want someone committing to you. They, want, they don't want things being balanced out. They want you in this chaotic energy where you're looking like you just don't know what you're doing. You don't deserve something, something of that nature. That's what's going on here, but absolutely not. The Most High has decided to bring balance into this situation. You will be moving on. It's karmic justice for you and this person to come together or for you to receive this offer, for you to partner up with this person so that you can move on. It's karmic justice for you to be able to move on. Someone may be removing themselves from this institution. If this has to do with an institution, this collaboration, someone is leaving. They're like, I can't do this anymore more i see the truth for what it is i am not staying around to partake in this nonsense anymore i'm done so someone has left the building someone has left the building and they are disappointed because of something they participated in they're like why didn't i see this before i should have known that they were manipulating me okay why didn't i see this before someone is absolutely heartbroken that he participated or collaborated with these people to take you down, to destroy your life, to block your forward movement, to interfere with your life because you didn't do nothing to these people. This is one of those situations where people paint a whole picture of you that's just not applicable. They say, she's this, she's chaotic. Everywhere she goes, she brings destruction. She stole from us. She took our money. She said we were there. She lied on us. And people find out like this person didn't do anything to you. This person doesn't even know you. This person doesn't even communicate to you about you or nothing. Like they're, they've moved on with their life, right? This person is focused on elevating in life and you're here telling lies. But there is some type of uh, shock going on for a group of friends. They were celebrating and their celebration is over. It's like they thought they had destroyed someone and the universe said, I think not, absolutely not. Yeah, they thought they had ended you. They thought they'd destroy you and you would never be able to get back up again. And that's not what they're realizing, okay? What the universe is doing is bringing balance into this situation, helping you move forward with your life, putting an end to this toxic cycle. It's just that we're done. This is like redundant and so old news. You could have like a narcissist in here that is just not wanting to let go. They are determined to get something to go their way but they know it's over this is like a desperation if it, something's someone's acting out of desperation like they just they want to pick a fight with you but they can't they say every time they take a step to come towards you the universe is there set your set your ass down like we are done playing with you sit down like this is over and you know it there's no more stagnation we've told you it's done okay these people did not see things clearly. They didn't see things clearly before they started taking action. This is why they were celebrating that, ooh, we, we, we succeeded. We destroyed them. We, they thought they had victory, but the victory was never theirs. The victory was ensured to you, collective. You and whoever you're supposed to work with, whatever opportunity or blessings you're supposed to be receiving, you're still going to be receiving it. So your enemies celebrated too early. Their characters are being exposed. They're not in the upright. Some of who have been pretending to be of high moral character, trying to bring you legal issues and things like that. And they're being told, sit down. Absolutely not. This court case is not going in their favor. They won't be able to bribe the judge for some of you where this has to do with a court case. They won't be able to bribe the lawyer. This is like you have a court case going on and the other party, members of the other party approach your lawyer to offer them money so that they can interfere with your uh, ability to win the case. Your chances to win the case and the lawyers and uh, no, I'm not accepting bribery. 
look, I actually respect my law license, right? Because these are people that don't respect anything. They think money is gonna solve all of their problems, but judgment has been called in this situation. You do have a brand new passionate beginning coming up for you, right? Keep a positive mindset. It's what your ancestors are telling you to do. Keep a positive mindset, right? These people are more than likely burning behind the scenes because they're going through endings and it cannot be undone. Someone may have taken some type of impulsive action and did something and they can't undo it. So it's, a, it's karma. This is balance, right? Yeah. Someone is seeing you as the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords. You're about your business. You tell the truth. You're in the upright. You may have said something that awakened everyone. Maybe someone kept a lie going and you finally spoke up or something about something or did something and illuminated the truth. So now, you know, people are like, I don't want to be part of this anymore. We're not friends anymore. We're sick and tired of this mess. You need to grow up, right? Our friendship is over. You need to take time to heal something of that nature. There could have been a mother and a daughter working together in here or two women working together to cause some type of ending and they're having to move on. Where, meanwhile, your focus on your finances, your family, you know, staying true to yourself, you set boundaries. Someone knows that you have really strong boundaries that they cannot cross. So they have to be mindful. They have to throw with caution coming into your energy because you don't have time for the BS. There could be possibly a king of pentacles that's going through some type of realization about something he partook in, right? And maybe he wants to bring balance into this situation he may have done something that led to uh, a betrayal maybe this person betrayed you um but he's wanting to bring balance into this situation for some of you okay but whatever these people saw what's going to happen is not what's happening right they're causing a lot of illusions about your character someone may have said that you're a liar and you're not someone may have said that you were vain and superficial and you're not so they're disappointed that someone is still wanting to give to you. Someone is still wanting to extend a helping hand to you because what? You're someone of pure uh, energy. You don't have any ill intent for people. Listen, I said pure energy and the star is down here. Someone knows you're telling the truth. You're the truth. You live in your truth. You're a blessing, right? They can trust you. Someone knows this about you. But people have been working above and beyond to interfere with something and they did this by smearing your character and telling a lot of lies the, the lies are not selling anymore i'm telling you, you're pure and this person could be advocating for you you're a pure energy pure person pure hearted you're kind with no ulterior motives you help people with no expectations you gave with no expectations these people can't say that so all of the mental conflicts they were doing is not working anymore they were seeing things unclearly. A group of friends were seeing things unclearly. This is why they were celebrating, thinking they had blocked some type of union or some type of offer from being made to you. It's still coming in, okay? Whoever this wealthy person is that wants to work with you, they're still coming in in due time. And these people are upset about that. There could be a privileged lady in here, someone of high, high honor, that was doing quite a lot behind the scenes, maybe stealing someone's work, pretending to be someone that she's not, and the truth has been revealed about her, and someone is leaving. They said, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to the other side. I'll try my luck somewhere else. So this person is coming in to give you some type of offer so that this chapter can come to an end. Maybe bring some peace and calm into your life because someone, a feminine energy has been doing a lot behind the scenes to interfere with someone else's forward movement, and they're going through some type of ending and they have to move on and let go, right? They have to move on and let go. And you're moving on. You moved on, right? Yeah, this chapter is over. Someone cannot temper with your life anymore. Yeah, they can't temper. It's over. Someone is done. Someone is done. They cannot temper with you anymore. Like, they're down and out. If this is a couple, they're done. They thought they were getting away with something they're not. It's exposed. They're going through some type of betrayal. Okay? They've been bribing people behind the scenes to cause you endings. All kinds of mess. You may not have known. Some of you knew, but some of you didn't know. But this couple is going through an ending. Whoever this is is going through an ending, right? Because the truth is exposed. 
something was looked over, something was being re-examined. They said, this is just not making sense. This is not making sense. You said this person did this, they didn't do it. We don't have any evidence that they did this. We've been watching this person for umpteenth years now or weeks or months or whatever it is. They didn't do this. We, we have literally no evidence. All we see is this person minding their damn mother effing business. Not a thing, not a not a evidence in sight. This person may be reckless with their mouth or something like that. This person may be uh, a little bit on the eccentric side of things, kind of weird and out there, but they didn't do nothing. They haven't done anything to you. We haven't found anything that says that they did anything to you. Even in private, this person is not saying anything about you that's criminal, that's incriminating. So this is not adding up. This couple is going through an ending. Whoever this is, whether it's a friend, a couple, a group, whatever, they're going through an ending. They've been doing too much behind the scenes, right? Too much. They said, why are they just committed to ending someone? I'm telling you. Why are they just committed to ending someone? Someone has been doing a lot of betrayals. They've been doing a lot behind the scenes to interfere with someone's forward movement, right? Trying to bring problems to someone is that you're supposed to be in an abundant energy, but what they're doing is trying to cause you an ending, yet you're staying in this energy pure, and you're still going to have a genuine connection with someone, whoever you're meant to have it with. Someone may be having fond memories of you. You may end up having to reconnect with someone in the past or someone in the past maybe want, wants to connect with you, reconnect with you, okay? But it's been too much going on and it's all being reviewed. It's all being reviewed. Like literally these people went from celebrating to like, ah, you know, like, ah, ah. Disappointments. Why why would you want to celebrate someone's downfall? I don't understand that. Why would you want to celebrate someone's downfall? Huh? Like why? Why are you eager to destroy someone else's life? I don't get it. Like how is that fulfilling? I'm telling you, how is it fulfilling? There's all divine interference in here. You have the tower, you have the uh, temperance energy. There's divine interference. It's not going in the way these people tell. We have the justice card as well. Divine interference. Divine intervention. And we have the world card. There's a lot of divine intervention going on out here. It's that like your enemies have been set to destroy you. They don't have any legitimate reason, right? They don't have any legitimate reason. They took it personal, they made it personal. It was never personal. You maybe you don't even know these people. Don't have any close relationship with these people. But here they are trying to destroy you for no reason. It could be for finances. It could be for finances. There could be a masculine energy that's removing himself from this situation. It's like, I don't want nothing to do with these people anymore. I'm done. I'm letting go of this, this toxicity. It's not leading to anything beneficial for me, right? You people are toxic as heck. Someone is going through a healing, basically. This could be someone from your past. They're going through some type of healing. They're like, I don't want no parts of this. It's time for me to heal. I'm actually going to do the work to heal. Yeah, because they want to connect with you, Empress. Like, I'm actually going to do the work to heal, to move on, live a, a actual good life, be the best version of myself. Right? Someone wants to be abundant or wants to be with an empress energy. Someone may be leaving an empress as well. Right? But something is being revealed that you're not toxic. You don't have toxic ways. You're not out lying and stealing and tricking people, pulling tricks and stuff like that. This is not you. This is not you. You're someone that's naturally abundant and in the upright. And people have been doing a lot to cause you endings. This collaboration is absolutely over. Whatever celebration these people were having is over. 
you're moving forward. You're going to be receiving some type of message or something like that. Some type of uh, uh, growth in life. Like something, something is about to be balanced out, basically. Okay? Something is about to be balanced out. And it's going in your favor. Like, like the, the universe is stepping in to help you move on. And having your enemies move on so balance can be brought into this situation. Your enemies are praying for you to be in this energy. Destitution. Deplority. Left out in the cold. Homelessness. All kinds of stuff. This is what they're wanting for you. But it's not happening. Okay? Even if this happens, you're leaving from this energy immediately into this. And there's divine intervention. There will be balance burnt into your life. Okay? There will be balance burnt in your life. People are wanting to go through healing now. Turn over a new leaf. Like they actually want to have genuine connections with people. It's like we don't want to be in this mess anymore. We don't want to be in this. Someone sent a message of concern to either an emperor or someone in this group. Someone sent a message of concern like, hey, they know. They know what's going on. This person is actually genuine. It was a lie the whole time. They said this person was not genuine, but they actually are. This is someone of pure heart, pure energy. They never did what, you, what they said she did or he did. This is someone that's innocent. Uh, listen. This person is innocent. They didn't do anything this person they said that this person did. If this is a group or someone else lying on you, someone sent them a message to let them know, hey, it was a lie. She didn't do it. She was innocent. She was innocent the whole time. And they all ganked up on this one person to say they did something. The person didn't do it. This is what I'm getting. And this is all through divine intervention. Someone is receiving a message and it has left them heartbroken, disappointed, burdened. Because they took action against you without knowing the truth. So now they are removing themselves from this toxic group. This is why the devil card is out here in the reverse. Someone is letting go. They're either letting go of a, yeah, letting go, removing themselves from this toxic group. I'm telling you, someone is removing themselves. They're leaving an empress energy as well that's karmic as heck. This is someone that was pretending to be in the upright, so someone may have chosen to go with her or was considering her for an opportunity, but he's removing himself. These people martyr themselves. They destroy their own lives. This is what's going on. Someone has received some type of message that, hey, it's not what you think it is. This person is innocent. I'm telling you, there's something here about innocence. Someone is innocent. Someone is actually genuine. Someone is kind. Someone is pure hearted. They didn't do anything. If they told you this person stole something, they didn't steal something. If they told you this person betrayed you, they didn't betray you. Someone had no hand in what, what these people said. And this person is burdened by this. They are burdened by this. Because they took actions against you for no reason. It's what they're finding out. It's a man. You got to be kidding me. Are you for real? Yeah, it's judgment. Are you for real? They're like, yeah, this person is not karmic. They're not toxic. They don't have any toxic ways. They're a little cuckoo out there. They may be a little bit eccentric and stuff, right? They're a little eccentric, a little out there with their thinking, but they're not karmic. They're not toxic. They don't steal. They don't lie on people. They don't take from people, right? They don't manipulate. This is actually someone genuine. And now he's burdened. He doesn't know how things are going to go. But it's like, why did you take actions against someone without having the full scope of what was going on? I'm telling you. Why would you take action against someone and you don't know what's going on? You're not karmic. It's what I keep hearing. You are not karmic. Whoever you are, Empress, you're not karmic. And this is why things are going in your favor. 
Now you're in like a defensive mode against these people. They want to come to you and make things right. And you're just watching them like, uh, excuse me, excuse me. You want to what? Like after everything you've done, now you want to what? But in situations like this, you have to have a pure heart, a kind heart to kind of give people a listening ear. This is what the picture source will do. They'll listen. But if you try, if you try something funny, they'll cut you off real quick. This is why it's imperative to have your own mind. Don't co don't be so quick to collaborate with, with other people against someone that you don't even know. Some of you don't even know these people. If you know them, it's not even on a personal level. You don't know them. They don't know you well enough to even make judgment on you to be like, oh, yeah, they're this way and they're that way. Most of these people don't even know you. Some of the, a lot of these people don't even know you on a personal level where they can say, yeah, this person is a thief, they're lazy, they don't like to work, they come to work and just sit down all day and listen to music, or they, they're disrespectful as heck, they lie on people. They don't know you well enough to even make those kind of statements. So everything they've been saying is a lie. They don't know you good enough. Some of you, like, you don't even share your personal life or personality with people. Like, you keep it really blah. Blah. When you come across these ty these people, types of people, is what was gonna well, is what was gonna come out. Like you don't get personal with people like that. But because people, when they don't know you, they don't have anything to say about you, they will start making stuff thing. They they will start making things up. Either because you're the hot topic, when they talk about you, it brings attention to them, so they will make up things. Oh, yeah, she told me she did this. She told me she uh, she still sprung over her ex. She told me she... Is it what? Like, who is she? Who is she? Who talked to you about that? Most people that are in, in the light, they don't do stuff like that. They keep their business to themselves because they know you can't trust everybody. I don't know why people have this uh, assumption that light workers, star seeds are naive. We're not naive. These aren't people that just share anything with you. Most of us prefer to be alone anyways. Right? Someone didn't expect you to defend yourself, defend your work, speak up, but you are. Like they were trying to block your work or block your forward movement, but spirit stepped in. They said, hey, She's still moving forward. This person is committed to what they're doing. This person deserves to have this position. They deserve to have this work, this job, this opportunity. They deserve it because they've worked for it. They've actually put in the work. Meanwhile, people were behind the scenes saying that you were lazy, not committed to your work. You wouldn't show up. You're caught off, a lot caught in sick and all kinds of stuff. Meanwhile, you've never missed a day of work collective. You're committed. Make it make sense. These people are crazy. I'm telling you. And the most high is like, you know what? We're done with this. The most high is exposing the truth about who you are. If they have a new opportunity for you, they're keeping it a secret. But whatever promotion this is, you are receiving it. Someone was trying to hide something they can't. It's exposed. Someone is being touched to go to go within and see the truth for themselves about a matter. Okay? Yeah. To present this opportunity, I'm telling you, you're still gonna receive what's yours. Why are people this committed to destroying another person? That's the question. Yeah, someone is coming in to to get to tell you something. That someone may want to come in for some of you to, to get you trapped in something, but you're not. They want to come in to cause you confusion, cause you mental conflict, have you living in anxiety about this opportunity. But you know the truth. You're innocent. You already know. They already know you're innocent, but they don't want you receiving this opportunity. That's why they're coming in. It's yours. It's a pentacles, ten of pentacles. It's yours. Something has been revealed, right? You, you're going to be receiving good news, Right? It's yours. This is a solid commitment, new beginnings, new opportunity, wish fulfillment. Thank you, success. Wish fulfillment again. Like, come on. 
and someone wanted to come in and gaslight you with some type of false offer, I said, nah, the most high already told me what's up ahead of me, what I'm due, and I'm going to receive it. Why are people just committed to ending someone else? Someone is so burdened that you're still receiving this opportunity, this promotion. Someone is burdened. They thought they had taken you out, block all of your forward movement, block anyone from giving you opportunities, any type of job, working with you. They didn't want people working with you. Someone has been doing things like this for a long time, blocking other people's forward movement. But you are the camel, you are the feather that broke the camel's back. It's like the most high, most high said, we, we've been watching you for years do the same thing over and over. Ending careers, ending lives, ending people's prosperity, their opportunities, blocking all of those for them. But this one right here, this one right here, it's not happening. They're getting what's theirs. And this is our final judgment. That this ch child is receiving what's theirs. They will be receiving this Ace of Pentacles. They will be partnering up with the right person. You're not about to have them living in poverty. Nothing. Okay? Source, what is your advice? Yeah. Source, what is your advice to us today? What would you like us to be aware of? Thank you. Three, three, three. It says, and it's nine, nine, nine is the number of completion. Something is over. You have a, I'm telling you, something is over. You have a new, brand, brand new passionate beginning ahead of you. It said, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. There's something here as well where someone may have been saying that they thought you had to do something. You didn't, no one thought you had to do anything. You learn everything by yourself. Come on, like myself here. They no one teach me a goddamn thing. I had to learn through the mud. I literally had to pick my crown up out of the mud, out of the dirt, and clean it off myself, little by little, to put it back up on my head. Because I knew I had people behind the scenes trying to block my forward movement. This is what you all are going through. They no one teach you anything. This is what people do. Right? They want to attach themselves to you. So they'll say, oh, I'm the one who taught her how to do that. I'm the one who taught him how to do that. Meanwhile, they don't even know how to do what you're doing. They're more than likely copying you from behind the scenes. Have a notebook talking about, oh, well, there's those six of cups and the temperance energy out here. And she says it means this or he says it means that. And then they write that down. And then they go and start doing their own reads. Reiterating the same things you said. That's not how it works. You need to get a book and read. You need to go through the healing process. Read the book. Watch other people, but don't copy what they're doing. Okay? They don't want to teach you how to do anything collective. You learn it on your own. A lot of us on these, a lot of us that are actually genuine will tell you our healing process, we did it ourselves. We didn't have a freaking mentor. We didn't have a psychiatrist. We didn't have a counselor. A therapist we didn't have any of that because a lot of the times when we decided to go through our healing we didn't even have the money to pay for those services so we had to learn through trial and error okay so someone talk, someone behind the scene is saying that they thought you had to do something they didn't teach you a goddamn thing someone doesn't even know how to do what you do your business your your products how you do hair, how you braid hair, how you uh, dress people up, whatever it is you're into, fashion, clothes, uh, makeup, how you put makeup on people, whatever it is, whatever art you're into, whether it's terror as well. Someone doesn't even know how to do it. But they're telling people that they show you how to do it. Meanwhile, they don't know how to do it. If you ask them to do, let's say, since I do terror, if someone asks this person to do a read, they don't know how to do a read. They're going to be making stuff up making it up and nothing is going to correlate because they don't even know what the meanings of the cards are they have to look it up on google google what does the seven of pentacles mean google what does it mean when the world card comes before the ten of uh, uh ten of stores and google is i don't know you figure it out you should know that you're the you're, you're the terror reader right that's just a little bit of humor I'm putting in there. But someone 
Someone has been determined to destroy you so they can be you, but they cannot. Someone has been determined to block your forward movement so they can keep living off of your hard work. It, it don't make sense. The math is not math and it never will. They're not going to receive what's yours. It's being given to you. Absolutely being given to you. Someone has made it their mission to turn everyone against you. People you know, people you don't know, people you have nothing to do with. They've made it their mission to turn them against you. Meanwhile, even though all of these people are turning against you, you're still moving forward. You're like, that's okay. The universe is just revealing your character to me because if someone can come and say something to you about me and then you just turn against me without asking my side of the story, that lets me know what I need to know about you. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay? Fresh start, zero. Okay? Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observing. You better pay attention to what they're telling you. There are two angelic cards out here. Pay attention. Your angels are trying to guide you in the right direction because they know there are people out here trying to end your forward movement. They don't want you to be abundant. This is a whole group collaboration, but it is a prime member at the top that's been orchestrating all of this. They're determined to end you for no reason other than jealousy and greed. Someone envies you. Someone envies you for who you are, what you've accomplished in life. You may not see it as an accomplishment. Healing is an accomplishment. Okay? Healing is an accomplishment. If it was something easy to do, you wouldn't have a lot of broken people out here trying to destroy other people. It's hard to face your demons and not run from them. But some people don't want to do that. They don't know how to do that and they refuse to do it. So then because you're healed and they aren't, you're healed, they aren't, they make it their mission to come in and destroy you because you reflect something that's not within them, something that they need. And it bothers them. This is the energy it puts them in. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see her. I don't want to hear her. Take her away. Take him away. They bother the demon within me. They make me feel uncomfortable. I don't like them. They don't know why they don't like you. They know why they don't like you, actually. But they are, they're not going to voice it because it's immature as heck. Okay? That's all it is. But pay attention to your angels. The message is paid. Pay attention to the numbers that are being shown to you. I've been seeing the number 444 a lot. That's just my angels letting me know I'm protected because I'm going through some stuff behind the scenes right now. And they're reminding me, hey, you're protected. You have nothing to worry about. So I hope you all are paying attention to your angels, the messages they're giving you. Okay? Pay attention. When you see the number 444, you should know that you're protected. That's how I know myself. But you best believe people have been working behind the scenes to destroy you. And now that the truth is out, they're all sp spreading out, separating. Because they expected you to be down and out, destroyed, done. Because they thought there were more of them, so, and there's less of you. So, all hopes was lost for you. Absolutely not. Anyways, that is the read for now. I'll see you in my next reading. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.